just, I don't want my hair to get stuck. I don't want my hair to get stuck. I don't want it to get stuck. I'm scared. Today, we're gonna to be testing cheap versus expensive automatic hair curlers. We're also gonna be guessing which is the cheap curler and which is the expensive curler. I am familiar with the curling of hair. You could say that I'm not a pro. I don't typically curl my hair, but when I do, it's for a special occasion. Say I'm doing something out of the ordinary where I wanna feel really cute and I want my hair to look cute too. I will curl my hair. I rarely ever curl my hair. In high school, I curled my hair a lot. And for like every formal event that I go to, I curl my hair. So I've definitely done it. I can't say that I've ever tried an automatic hair curler. I've seen them before and I've been intrigued. I feel like both of them are probably gonna work, but I think one is hopefully gonna work significantly better if it's significantly more expensive. Does price point really matter? Do they all do the same thing? I'm a little scared. I've never used an automatic hair curler, but you know, we're gonna get into it. And hopefully it turns out good. I mean, we can only help, so let's try. Let's get into these automatic hair curlers. So first off, we have this one. Ooh. Sexy beauty. That's what I'm here for, baby. Mm -hmm. This concerns me. I'm nervous. Does this not make anyone else nervous? This makes me nervous. I feel like my hair is gonna get caught in this. Oh, this does not feel expensive at all. There's like pieces kind of breaking and it's dirty. I don't know about this one. All right, we've got some pink tissue paper. We love that. Interesting, 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 interesting. Whirl 360. Now this looks a little more luxe. Ooh, okay, come on. Like this packaging, miles better than the other one. It says that this curler will inspire you to be the best version of yourself, so. I don't know, that doesn't usually come for cheap. If you, if you were me and you were looking at these two, which one would look a little bit more luxe? Well. We'll see, we're about to try them out. Let's go. So our first curler is this one. This is called the Re-Zen Professional Hair Curler. After plugging this beautiful, incredible curling iron, it's a five different plugs, all five of which I also plugged my phone charger in to make sure it wasn't the plug that was the issue. I even phoned a friend. I asked Spencer if I was an idiot and that this wasn't the power button and I just couldn't figure it out, but it has come to my attention that this is just broken and simply won't turn on. We're just gonna have to put the whole thing on hold. Now I'm quite sure that this is the cheap one though because she won't even turn on. We'll hopefully check back later when I have a working curler. I'm at Spencer's now, ready to pick up my cheap, probably, or maybe really awful expensive curler. Thank you, love you. I'm scared. What scares me most about this one is this. I don't want my hair to get stuck. I don't want it to get stuck. I'm scared. I have been spending the entire time reading these instructions and I'm just like not totally clear on them. Also a little bit confused because I thought these were supposed to be automatic curlers, but I think this is just like a helper. All right, well, we're gonna try it. Oh, it is supposed to be the end of your hair. Yeah, the directions weren't mine. Okay, now you just guide her in, I guess. I can't put the ends in though. It's not good for my ends. What do you do if your hair is longer than the barrel? Huh? Oh, this is, this is just confusion. Ow, what? Ow! So that just, it did make a curl. First of all, whoa, look at that curl. This honestly though, like it, it did work. I really thought it wasn't gonna work at all. Here's the dilemma with this curler. I feel like I'm gonna have some Cindy Lou Who, Shirley Temple, girl from any kind of situation going on with my hair. It's not the look I'm usually going for. It does guide the hair quite easily, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't feel expensive, I'll say that. Like even just when I'm holding it, I feel like this is like, 15 to 20 dollar product. Like if you didn't know how to curl your hair, I guess this would be a good guide. If you're a person who knows how to curl your hair, this is just gonna frustrate you more than anything. But you'll see like the whole top half is not gonna be curled. Like the half of that's straight because it doesn't go all the way. She's not getting the attention she deserves. Well, I'm not looking forward to curling my bangs. 
This is a hot mess. I don't like this. First of all, I don't even think I can curl my bangs with this thing. I'm not gonna recover from this. This is instant regret, instant regret. It's done now. This is the final product. I don't know if I think they're gonna last. The way that the curls only start under my cheekbone, I don't love. <laughs> Half of my head isn't curled and that is definitely a deal breaker for me. I'm upset that all my hair is curled in the same direction because that's just not the journey I'm usually on when I'm curling my hair. It's not great, it's not horrible. Oh, great. One thing I will say though that's positive is it's really safe. Like I can't burn myself on that thing because the plastic ring kind of protects the actual heated part. My hair looks shiny. The curls are good. I wish it could get closer to the root so that I had a little bit more curl up here. I don't know. I'm really hoping that that's the cheap one. And now for the moment that we've all, or that I've at least been waiting for her. It's so pretty. It just looks expensive. The T3 Twirl 360. I'm very excited to try this one given the experience I just had with this one. How would you use it? You clamp the end of your hair and then you just rotate your wrist and you can rotate it allegedly in either direction. And then apparently whichever way you rotate your wrist, the barrel will just start moving and then like do it for you. Let's get into this. We're gonna try it. That's pretty cool. <gasps> Holy sh oh, and look, it goes all the way up to my head. Wait, how do I get it off? That's the kind of curl I'm into. Less this, more this. So that's very exciting. Wow, this is gonna be fun. Press the lever to release the curl. <gasps> that was so cool. Wow, this is gonna take literally a fraction of the time. Like, is that not so easy? I don't even have to move my wrist. There she is. Wow, 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 wow. Should I try rotating my wrist the other way just like to see if it's true? Like they're gonna lie. Ooh. This is actually insane. This is so much fun. I'm having so much fun. I've never had this much fun curling my hair. This is the expensive one, it has to be. That's nice. See, I like that I can go in different directions with this. You have to be careful since it's an automatic curler to not go too close to your ear. These kind of curls are very much more what I'm looking for, whereas these are like really tight curls. And it's definitely the size of the barrel that makes a difference in terms of like the size and like volume of the curl. Okay, here's the thing. The bangs are gonna be a huge dilemma and I'm just gonna curl them myself because I don't even wanna risk possibly burning my face. But at least I have that option. Okay, I just finished and I'm like kind of obsessed with this side. It's definitely looser, like the curls are objectively looser, but I also think I kind of made that decision on my own. But this just looks very much cohesive, smooth, you know, a little bit more relaxed, whereas this just looks wild. Honestly, the look of the two isn't that different. I think this one looks a little bit like more natural, like is giving me beachy kind of vibes, but they don't look that different. The experience, however, miles apart. Doing this one took me a total of literally 10 minutes. This one took me 30. This one was very stressful. And also technically this took me a day and 30 minutes because I had to get a whole nother curling iron. This one worked right away was so fast, so easy, and there was literally zero effort in it. And I think it looks really cute. Final guess, this one has to be the expensive one. Let's check the prices. Now for the reveal. This is $16.99, and I believe that that checks out. Now, I said it felt heavy. I said it felt a little bit more luxe. Did I know that it was $230 worth of luxe? That's a lot of money. I wouldn't buy this automatic curler. I would truthfully just buy a normal curling iron because I think that they work a lot better. There's a lot of flaws with the cheap one. Out of five, I would give the cheap one a two and a half, mostly because mine didn't even work when I first got it. And also just because of the whole, it didn't go as far as I wanted. And it also wasn't really automatic. I guess right, but I don't know if I would pay $230 for that one. But also it was so fun. I would give it somewhere between a three and a half and a four. I understand why it's $230 that I expect it to be $230. No. This I can see being $16.99. I have no qualms with that price, so.
find you a happy medium. I have a date to get to, so I'm gonna go and hopefully my girlfriend likes my curls, both cheap and expensive. <laughs>